Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to specify the integer data type in R. So um, it's important for us to understand data types in R. Uh, there are different types such as numeric and integer and logical and character data. And in this video, we're going to learn about the integer data type. So let's first of all uh, create a variable that, that stores an integer value. So we're going to have a variable called x. I'm going to assign it a value of 10. So that's an integer, um, no decimal points. So that is an integer. And let me run that and create the variable called x. We can see in our global environment on the right hand side of our studio that x has a value of 10. So in order to um, check the um, what data type this is, we use the class function. So CLASS -S and the value of x. So let's see what the class, what the data type is. So run line 6. And we see in the console that the uh, data type is numeric. It is not classified as an integer. Now, in R, an integer is a numeric data type. But if we want our data type to be an integer, um, we, we have a problem here in that um, R is classifying our data as numeric. So we're going to need to convert it. So let me go ahead and do that. If I ask the question, is dot integer, is x an integer? which will be the uh, simplest way of checking a variable, uh, whether it's an integer or not. If I run this, we can see that um, R tells us in the console that it's not an integer, it's false. So we can see plainly on line four that X is an integer, it has a value of 10, no decimal places. But what's happening is, is that R is classifying it as a numeric value, not an integer. So we need to find a way to change the numeric value to an integer. So let's go ahead and do this. So to do this, we need to use uh, create a new vector. So I'm going to recreate the vector x and assign it a value using the as.integer function. And this will, and I'm putting my variable x. So what I'm doing in line 10 here is I'm taking my uh, variable uh, called x, which is a numeric value, and I'm using the as.integer function to convert it to a integer data type. So uh, let's go ahead and run line 10. And uh, we don't get any output in the console, but do look at what's happened in the global environment. You can see that the value X now has a capital L appended on the end, and that indicates that this is an integer data type. So let's go ahead now and check the class of X. So when we run on line 12, the class function on X, we can see now that our data type is an integer. So that's how we would change it. And if I ask the question now is integer x, there's a typo there, is integer x, and I run this, this time we get a value of true because we have converted or coerced our numeric value into an integer. So integers might be used for things like a categorical data uh, and um, nominal or ordinal data as well. So that's how you specify and check integer data types in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.